so it seems so we know that you know players are called on to do repeated sprints and we know that um, it appears that it's important for performance so I guess then the question what I'm going to try and um, talk to you in the next 30 minutes or so is how do we actually train this how can we improve this repeated sprint ability and in my I think that in my mind there's probably two main schools of thought on this so one is the idea of train as you play so do game-like activities, do repeated sprints, and that's going to be the best way to improve repeated sprint ability. I think the other guy, other approach is maybe a more uh, generic approach. And so the idea is here is that, okay, what we do is we look at the sport. What is the physiology required to excel at that particular sport? And then we aim at improving that physiology with the aim of improving that sport. And so we've talked about, uh, there's a few articles on, on this type of approach. So I'm going to mostly talk about um, this particular approach and hopefully I'm, I'd like to leave some time at the end. So I'm happy to talk a little bit more, but this will be the focus of the talk. So given that, my, my starting point when um, looking at this is, okay, what is the energy that's required by the muscles to do a sprint and to also repeat a sprint? And there's been some good research on this. And so if you're doing a six second sprint, then the energy to do that sprint, the majority of that is going to be coming from the breakdown of phosphocreatine, fairly large contribution of anaerobic glycolysis, and a small contribution from stored ATP and also aerobic metabolism. So if this is what's required to do a single sprint, that kind of suggests that, sorry, that's difficult to read there, but to do, then to be able to do another sprint, you need to be able to replenish those phosphocreatine stores as quickly as possible. If you're doing, using the anaerobic system, that's also going to be producing hydrogen ions, so a decrease in pH. So you might be looking, you, if you're able to better buffer those hydrogen ions, remove them from the system, that should be able to help you do the next sprint as well. So that's going to be, a lot of my talk is going to be based around those particular concepts. And I'll, I'll start by talking about how we might be able to develop anaerobic um, metabolism and how that may relate to repeated sprintability. So if we look...